F1 drivers are facing moments with intense heat and with emotions running high, quite often they can use foul language on the team radio. But while that has been censored, the sole fact that it's being broadcast more and more frequently has made Ben Salliam, the president of the FIA, to think about another direction banning swearing on the radio. With drivers like Verstappen openly expressing their negative stance towards this attitude, could we see less and less broadcast radios? And more importantly, is what the president of the FIA is asking from the drivers a bit too much considering the nature of the sport? It's safe to say that Formula One is one of the most intense sports in the world and you don't have to go that far back to see how a small moment can change the entire nature of a race. Just look at what happened with Perez and Sainz in the penultimate lap of the Baku GP. Now, if you were in the position of Perez, who was fighting for P2 and ended up P4 in a matter of two corners and then crashed out of this position, resulting in zero points at the end of the day, you would likely have a word or two out of the ordinary vocabulary to say about this situation. On the other hand, you have Max Verstappen's ruined strategy in Hungary that left him to hunt the drivers ahead of him, which resulted in a silly crash at Turn 1, which almost ended his race. And of course, it was obvious that the words towards the racing engineer won't be as smooth as perhaps you'd want. But according to the president of the FIA, Ben Salliam, F1 drivers are not rappers and these cuss words should be used less and less. It's kind of strange that this comes from a man who is a proven racer, having won at the Middle East Rally Championship 14 times in his career. But while talking about it, Ben said that he understands the frustrations of the driver he feels at that exact moment. However, it's not a reason for him to go on a full-scale swearing rant towards his race engineer, as there are kids watching this sport, and as a parent, the last thing you'd want is for your kid to be listening to some such radio messages. Elaborating further on this, Saliem said, I mean, we have to differentiate between our sport, motorsport, and rap music. We are not rappers, you know. They say the F word how many times per minute? We are not on that. That's them and we're us. I know I was a driver in the heat of the moment when you think you were upset because another driver came to you and pushed you. When I used to drive in the dust and something like that happened, I would get upset. But also we need to be careful with our conduct. We need to be responsible people. There is always the option that these radio messages won't be transmitted to people. But with that, there is that risk that viewers won't find the sport as entertaining because they'll have no idea what's going on between the racer and the race engineer. Most of the time, drivers use bad words to explain the tyre degradation or the condition of their tyres, as well as the level of the grip on the surface. And while I do agree that this could be polished a little bit, the fact that it affects their entire weekend and they are normally reacting accordingly to it makes it a bit more difficult to integrate in the entire sport. On top of that, of course, there are 20 drivers with 20 very different characters. And you often hear these swearing moments from just a handful handful of them. It would be absurd to compare Piastri and Tsunoda in regards to their radio messages, which is something that also needs to be looked at. If the drivers are to be told to stop using swear words, can that be implemented throughout the entire grid? We've seen Tsunoda have tantrums over the slightest of things, and while that can be changed and altered by the driver and the team itself, there are situations in which swearing and cussing is just a natural part of the sport. When talking about the broadcasting of such messages being banned, Salium said, and now with the technology, everything is going live and everything is going to be recorded. At the end of the day, we have to study that to see, do we minimize what is being said publicly? Because imagine you are sitting with your children and watching the race and then someone is saying all of this dirty language. I mean, what would your children or grandchildren say? What would you teach them if that is your sport? We can and we are requiring the FOM to limit the usage of team radio containing foul language. 
we are the ones who actually approved more radio talk on the TV broadcast, but we have rules and the rules are there for the benefit of the sport and the rules are there to be policed and to be respected also. This isn't something that bodes well with drivers who, as I mentioned earlier in the video, tend to use a lot more bad language than some of the others. For example, Max Verstappen. Throughout the Hungarian GP, the three-time world champion went through a roller coaster of emotions, starting with his car not responding to his feedback while being mounted with a new upgrade package, all the way to the strategy that ultimately ruined his race. When his race engineer tried to talk sense into him, the words of Verstappen were quite rich with foulness and the president of F1, Stefano Domenicali, has since intervened and asked the drivers to stop swearing so much on the radio, referring to that particular incident. But the three-time world champion wasn't as affected by this request and when talking about it, he went on to say, If people don't like my language, then don't listen to it. Turn the volume down. I am very driven for success. I think I've proven that already. I always want to optimize stuff. Now people can argue that he might not be so vocal on the radio, but that is their opinion. I don't think we need to apologize for swearing. I think we just need to do a better job. I don't know why people think we cannot be vocal on the radio. This is a sport. If some people don't like that, then stay home. Also, a very interesting parallel has been drawn with other sports, and it's quite a fair one. You don't hear much swearing in the NBA or the most competitive football leagues, but I guess it's partly because the players aren't wired with microphones all of the time. So to say that the F1 drivers need to behave more properly and they need to cool their temper down while going at speeds of 300 kilometers per hour, risking their lives and their races being ruined by a move that sometimes is not up to them, is a bit of a far-fetched scenario that the sport might not achieve in the foreseeable future. Even if the fault is at the driver for ending his race or altering it the way it was altered for Verstappen in Budapest, he is free to express his anger towards himself because if he doesn't, then the anger and the emotions could force the driver to make a mistake on the track, which would be a lot more costly. And this is not the first time that the FIA has tried to silence or somehow control the behaviors of the drivers on the track. We do remember the controversial rule they brought at the late stages of 2022 when drivers weren't allowed to express their personal, political and religious statements and comments without an approval in writing by the FIA for international competitions or by the relevant ASN for national competitions within their jurisdiction. This made a lot of F1 drivers worried about how they will be able to support what they've been fighting for so long, such as the rights of the LGBTQ plus community and the environmental hazards that are ruining our planet day by day, which is why the governing body was forced to issue a clarification in 2023, stating the rules are not there to stay the same for 30 years. You have to improve, to change, to remove and to add a lot of things. And I don't do this. We have committees. They study it. I didn't write it. This had to do with the ethics and the neutrality of speech. But did you know we had it from 1972? Nobody knew. You cannot go to a country and abuse a country because they pay all of this money. If you don't like it there, don't go. If you take a license from the FIA, you have to respect the source that is giving you the license. All of this is slowly but surely turning into a huge political war that could have a huge effect on the sport because there are so many financial partners involved that the interest could very well drop if these back and forth games continue between the FIA and its drivers. Be that as it may, cursing has been present in the sport from the dawn of times and to believe that with the modernization today as well as the competitiveness of the sport, it might be a bit too much. With all this in mind, do you think that Ben Salliam's statements about swearing in the sport are legitimate ones? And more importantly, do you think that he can actually achieve something with it? Let us know down in the comments below. And once you do that, make sure to click on the video that's appearing on your screen right now.